How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and I'm back in Driftvale City, ready to take on the gym leader, Clay. Oh, my goodness. All right, so here's a look at my team really quick. I got everyone trained up to level 30. Um, I can only hope this is going to be enough. I can't go any past 31, though. And I have a feeling I might end up fighting something by the time I get there. Now, for Quail, totally forgot to give her an item. I just taught her, um... Oh, let's just take a look at everyone really quick here. I taught her Grass Knot. Got rid of Faint Attack, because it just isn't that strong. Um, Ren can learn Dig, which could be very useful against Excadrill. I mean, I don't want it to come to that, but hopefully Dig will, uh, certainly be an option since that thing's part steel. Ugh. I might really use Ren in this. I think that could be very effective. Now, Aquilave is here. I see some potential in him. He, uh, he doesn't have the Eviolite, and I'm not entirely sure. He has the Rocky Helmet right now, and Chickadee has the Eviolite. My logic behind that is Chickadee doesn't have the greatest defenses in the world, and she's probably going to have to fight that Excadrill. There's really no clear answer for Clay's Excadrill. So I'm going to have to use some kind of super effective attack. And I figure Chickadee should be all right at resisting Excadrill's attacks. So hopefully it'll just go for Slash against Chickadee. And I can jump, yeah, use Jump Kick. And hope I don't miss. And yeah, that's the, the hope here. Swan, you know what? As much as I think Swan could be great, the problem is her stats are so awful right now. I really don't think that she'll be able to fight um, all of Clay's Pokemon, and I'm certainly not going to have Cardinal fight. I mean, he's ready. He has Grass Knot just in case, but... Oh, man. I mean, Swan just, I don't think, quite has it. So I think I'm going to rely on Chickadee and Aquilavis here. I did not give Chickadee... Grass Knot. And the reason is she has very low special attack. And on top of that, like, the only thing I could think of that would be a problem would be Palpitoad. I think some things in there have, uh, ooh, look at that. Something's going on over there. Um, Palpitoads and stuff. And they aren't really heavy, so I'd probably be doing more damage just using Return. Anyway, let's get ready to take on the gym. Uh-oh! Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for your endorsement for the Getsis 2012- I mean 2016 campaign. I'm Getsis of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates here and to invite you to join me for uh, my run. I don't need no thanks now. If you want me to invest in your campaign, I mean, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, you know what? I don't really care as long as you can make me money. That's all that matters to me. Well, you see, I happen to know plenty of benefactors here, so I think uh, that can certainly be an option. And besides, we want to free all of the Pokemon. Think of the economics! Think of the economics! Mm, well, you know what, Pokemon don't really do all that much. That sounds nice. I, I may not talk all pretty, but I'm an honest man. Here, you talk all nice, and I kind of like what you're saying, so you know what? I'll go ahead and give you the money you'd want. Hmm, well you see, we might want to set up our campaign headquarters in Driftvale City. It'd be a very nice place, and we can invest a lot of money here. We could even build a tournament site sometime in the future. Hmm, well I don't know. I mean, if you think that's going to bring a lot of money to this city, I guess that'd be fine. But whatever, here, you know what, you can have your guys back. Ah, that's the right decision there, my friend. I'll be sure to invite you to my campaign dinners. Anyway, let me have my, uh, associates here, and I'll be right on my way. Ketsis, thank you very much. Oh, no worries at all. Now, you shouldn't have gone to this town. I told you it's trouble. Mm, sorry to let Team Plasma go. I mean, you know what? Money's money. You do the same thing if you were in my position. Anyway, I'm gonna head on over to the gym. Why don't you guys come on and fight me? I'll be waiting for you. Well, we avoided a fight in the middle of the city, at least. Still, I can't help but think Getsis isn't just an ordinary person. I mean, this guy's crazy. He doesn't want to just become president. He wants to take over the world. 
I'm going to go make my Pokemon stronger. I don't want to lose to Clay. Actually, I'm going to win my gym badge in a flawless victory. Yeah, well, I hope I'll be able to do the same. All right, so let's head on into the gym here. Hey, give me some water. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so I kind of just want to get through as quickly as possible. And, all right, I got Chickadee leading. I guess I could try you, Swan, but I don't know. I wish I had a really good grass Pokemon. I'm looking at you, Chickadee. You don't have anything grass going on right now. <laughs> uh, once you get Horn Leech, you're going to be amazing, though. So that's good. Okay, now I don't think I have to fight all of the trainers here. That would be nice if I didn't have to fight them. Uh, but it looks like I might have to fight this guy. Yep. That's fine. Okay, Challenger, bring it on. Yeah, well, let's do this. Now, I've already done my training outside of here, and I don't want to get too high a level, so... Oh, there's a Palpitoad. This is actually going to be good practice, just to see how well I fare against a Palpitoad. Now, I don't have Grass Knot here, but I think Return... I think two hits of Return should do the trick. All right, that's good. That's more or less what I wanted to see. I have to remember that Clay's Palpitoad will probably be a little higher level, maybe 29. I don't know. I'm not looking up any of this stuff right now. I had to just briefly glance at Clay's Extra Drill's level. Drillber. Actually, I think Aquilavis here is not too shabby. Even if he's weak to ground, he has a lot of defense and the solid rock ability, so it actually probably isn't that bad. We're gonna go for Scald. All right. <laughs> I think uh, I think I did more damage to you than you did to me. Okay, that's reassuring. Looks like Scald did plenty. Okay, so good. One trainer down. Just want to get to Clay and be about my business now. All right, let's see. I think I have to wrap around here. Uh, maybe I do have to fight a lot of people. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Let's just do this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, Crocorock. All right, this is another good thing to practice against here. I know that Clay does have a Crocorock. Couldn't ever forget that. Now, I'm really nervous about using Jump Kick, okay? Because if I miss with Jump Kick... Yeah, I inflict a lot of recoil damage. Half of my hit points in recoil damage. That'd be really bad. So, don't want to have that happen. That's why I have Double Kick here. Just as a backup. Now, I know some people have suggested getting the wide lens. And while, you know, that'd certainly be great, if I recall correctly, I think you have to trade Pokemon and then talk to a guy in Castellia City in the Pokemon Center there. I think that's how you get it. So if that's the case, I can't trade Pokemon right now. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to have access to that, which is kind of a shame. Uh, you know what? I Let's see. I, I think I'm going to use these two just for now. I don't want Chickadee to gain too much experience. I mean, I guess 31 is acceptable. Typically with my limit, I prefer keeping it to um, like one less than the gym leader's highest level Pokemon. Alright, she's going to test to see if I'm skilled enough to face the gym leader. That's good. I wasn't entirely sure if I was or not. So we'll let Katie be the judge of this. With uh, Drillbur. Now, it is kind of a problem. I mean, even the random Pokemon around here are level, like, 29. Oh, it seems to me... No, I think it's ground that doesn't do good against Bug. I think Bug does fine against ground. Yeah. Rock Slide! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness! Um, I'm pretty sure Drillbur doesn't have Quick Attack. Like, if I switch right now, I'm just going to get smashed with a Rock Slide. 
Oh, and I can't heal, obviously. I'm gonna just hope this thing doesn't have it. I mean, you're really fast. All right, good. Whoa, that escalated quickly, but oh, goodness. What if that Excadrill has Rock Slide? I didn't even think about that. Oh, man. Well, she really did test that. Okay, um... Yeah, let me just go back and heal really quick. And then I'll, uh, reassess the situation. Ooh. That could be... That... Oh, man. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and oh man, I'm scared now. I mean, I think, uh, I think Chickadee's still probably my best bet. It's really a coin flip, though. That's the problem. Um, it really is. And you know what? I don't think there is a clear answer. Clay is oftentimes known as the Nuzlocke Breaker. He breaks Nuzlocke's because he's, that Excadrill is just really tough to take down. So it might just be one of those fights that's going to be really tough. Let's just face it. That's kind of uh, what I'm walking into here. A very tough fight. So I guess speaking of which, let me just take a look. I don't think I want to be leading with Ren anymore. I seem to recall the Krokorok has Intimidate. So I might be better off leading with Aqualavis here. I mean, it didn't take too much. Well... Oh, it's so tough. Because I need to handle that Palpitoad. I mean, I guess Aquilavis could probably handle that, maybe, possibly. Probably not. I don't know. I'm just worried if Chickadee gets slow. Well, Excadrill's really fast, so I don't think Chickadee would be able to outspeed it anyway. So I think if I led with... Let's see, she'd take the Intimidate. Let's go for Aquilavis. Have him use Scald against Crocorock or whatever. Then switch to Chickadee against the last two. It's really a tough gamble here. And I mean, the tough thing is, it's like several of my Pokemon have somewhat of an answer to Clay's Excadrill. But not entirely. And pretty much anything that can counter his Excadrill, his Excadrill can counter that Pokemon. So it's like, oh, well, this is just great. Oh, man. Okay, so, again, any of these Pokemon, you know, any of these pairs have pros and cons. And probably, realistically, whichever one I send out first is probably the most likely to die. Well, obviously the most likely to die. Um, you know. <laughs> oh, So, I mean, I think we just got to have to go for it here. I wish Swan were stronger, but I just don't think Swan is capable. She just does not have enough. Um, well, actually, let's see. 34 special attack with Skull versus 37. I mean, but Rock Slide. Oh, I can't do it now. That's right. That thing probably has Rock Slide. So these two are out. They can't be used. Because I'm just going to get wrecked by that. These two are weak to rock. So, all right. I guess we just got to do this. Obviously, can't have my big bug fight. I mean, maybe, but... <sighs> oh, well. Let's take on Clay. Cross your fingers, everyone. Hopefully, I can make it through this. Well, well, well. I think it's about time to see for myself what it is about your skills to make a gym leader like Lisa take such a shine to you. I'm just so nervous. Oh, look at this guy. He's a real businessman. All right, so he's leading with his crock a rock a rock a rock now, I'm also tempted to use Aqua Jet because, oh my goodness, I just thought of something. He might heal his Excadrill. Oh, that'd be awful. That would be awful. I mean, I'm thinking way too far ahead right now. Let's just go for Scald. Swagger! Whoa! Oh, man, that's actually really bad. It doesn't have Intimidate, though. Okay, I mean, it's bad and it's good. This isn't good. It wasn't that bad, though. 
Although, with that Swagger, I think I'm actually going to be better off with Aqua Jet. Oh, but please don't hurt yourself. There we go. Good job, Aqua Lavis. Good. <laughs> and a critical hit. Aqua Lavis, you do this like every time. You're so amazing. All right, so Palpitoad's coming out. Just as we, uh, just as we thought, guys. Come on, we gotta have Chickity go and use her turn here. Now, I didn't give her Grass Knot because this thing's not very heavy. Return is almost guaranteed to do substantially more, but it's still probably gonna be a two-hit KO. Yeah, more or less what I thought. Actually, perfect. Remember, I practiced against the Palpitoad. Oh, B, sure didn't see that coming. All right, well, almost to his monster. Good job, Chickadee, yes. Okay, so Chickadee's level 31, and here comes the Excadrill. Um, we're gonna leave Chickadee in. Nothing's really affecting her, and she has Jump Kick. So that's good. Giving up's the easy way out. If I wanted, I could've given up any time. I ain't a quitter, you better not be a quitter either. All right, well, no quitting here. Oh, uh, nerve wracking. Okay, now jump kick misses, it's gonna be really bad. There's a 5% chance of that happening. Nothing I can do about it. I think double kick is going to lack the power I need. Come on, jump kick, come on, chickadee. Rock slide, okay. Don't flinch, please. Come on. Oh, that's actually okay. If you can just take one more hit, chickadee. One more hit. Don't flinch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That was perfect. Well, I've had enough. Just so you know, I didn't go easy on you. Yeah, well, just so you know, I didn't go easy on you either. Oh, I see, but I sure don't like it for such a young you have a potent battle style. I know you got people who can dig up your potential, dig up lots of dirt on your political opponents. Here, take this. All right. I got the Quake Badge. I think it's the Quake Badge, something like that. Yeah, the Quake Badge. So there's your fifth badge, huh? I could go for a fifth right now. If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Also, I'll give you this TM. Well, that was the plan, but I just remember there's something I want from you. Wait in front of the cave at the end of Route 6, would you? Aw, oh, man. I don't even get my bulldoze now. What a jerk. This guy's a mean person. I really don't like Clay. <laughs> uh, but I think that's because I always just kind of imagined him as one of those, you know, I don't even know what, but I, I don't really imagine him being all that great of a guy. Let's just say. I know some people might, but I sure don't. Oh, man. Well, good news is no problem with Clay. My team handled it. I put total faith in Chickadee and Aquilavis, and they did not disappoint. Oh, man. I need to go heal right now. That is just, oh, wow. That's so exciting. Well, I got the Quake Badge. That's great. That is great, and it didn't even lose anyone. Oh my goodness, that that could have been so rough, but wow, Rock Slide, oh my goodness. Whew. Anyway, guess that's probably a good spot to end this. I mean, you know, we accomplished what we needed to, so that's good. Guess we're gonna go have to meet Clay on Route 6, which we'll do in the next episode. <laughs> Losing my voice. The next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Black Wedlock. See you next time, um, scientists and deerlings, I think. Yeah.